My grumpy lumberjack is sawing eastern white cedar. Then we're headed up to the farm to meet his brother Bob. Let's see what's buzzing at the Mackenzie Apiary. You're gonna learn do bees hibernate and stick to the end? Let's see what happens if there is more than one queen bee. Ooh, a friendly bee! This is an example of a, a hive. This lower part is where the brood nest is. That's where they raise the, the brood. Uh, it's capped over with little brown bits of wax. And there's a, a band of honey around the outside uh, that they use to feed the brood. And there's some nectar up stored up in here that they're uh, thickening up into honey. It's nectar. The ones you see doing these funny little dances, that's called the waggle dance. And um, that's how they communicate where the nectar or the pollen is. And notice like this guy here, he's, he's uh, when he wiggles, He's always pointing down, and he'll turn around, he'll turn around and point the same direction. That, so whatever, whatever direct, direction his head is pointing is the direction the bees have to fly in relationship to the sun to, to go get the nectar that he's advertising. And the number of wiggles that he gives in, the, um, in his back end is how many uh, units it is away in bee yards or bee feed or whatever you want to call it, how, how far it is away from the hive. So, that, so the head indicates the direction that they have to fly, and the wiggles is the distance from the hive. Like that guy, he's got some... He's got some pollen on him. He's he's trying to communicate where he found the pollen, but his he has to go. His he's pointing this way. He has to fly this way. What's the lifespan of like bee, a worker bee? S roughly six to seven weeks. They don't live very long. Oh wow! Is this all honey in here? No, that's the that's the brood. That's the oh the bees. Or the queen lays an egg. It hatches into a little larva, and the larva eats honey and nectar and 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 royal jelly. The larva gets to a certain stage, and the and the bees know that they they seal her off into a they seal her off into this cell with wax. And then she goes through her metamorphosis, and then 21 days after the queen after the queen lays the egg, the bee hatches out of the out of the nest, a fully fully grown bee, and just starts working almost right away. Oh wow! And so it only it only takes 21 days from the from the time she lays an egg until it until they emerge. It's 21 days. And then they fly in and out of this. Yep. If you let them, they're not going to sting you unless you. Uh, if I swat, swat or them or bang them, they'll just they'll just walk on your hands or like they're pretty gentle. Stung by a bee, Scott. A big bee. And then this is the hive up here. Well, this is all the hive, but that's just the extra storage for honey. But they, for uh, honey. But if they, if they put any extra up here, but you see there's not too much. This is just a small scale example of what a real hive looks like. It's just a public education sort of thing. They wouldn't have the, uh, there wouldn't be enough bees in here to live the winter. They'll, they'll have to be removed out of here before it gets too cold because they, they'd never survive the What What winter. happens to bees in the winter? They just... Like the hives and stuff? They just kind of go to a, a huddle or a cluster, they call it a cluster, eat honey all, all winter. They don't really go to sleep. They just kind of just slow. They slow right down into a cluster, a real tight cluster, and just move around the hive, eating honey as they go. And that with keeps one it, queen. With one queen in the middle, and they have to protect her because if she dies, then the, the whole hive will die. But then once the weather gets warmer, then they start they start raising brood full time to get this get the hive back up to strength again. Because the older bee, the older bees will die off. A big size hive of bees by the time you're done in the springtime you might have half the size uh, left in the spring basically what they're doing they're working all summer trying to, to save enough honey to live the winter that's what they're doing they're, all uh, those are female yeah the females are the ones that do all the work the drones don't yeah help out with the hive at all they just they're just there for breeding the queen when the, when the time comes uh, workers are all female bees and they do all the collecting the honey and maintaining the hive and, and then how can you tell which is the queen out of all these well I was just trying to find the queen here I don't see her oh there's the queen there's the queen right there uh, she's hard to, she's hard to pick out in this hive. She's not a very old queen. She's just, she's pretty young. Oh, wow. but she's got a little bit longer abdomen, and she has a little block on the, on the end of her abdomen. abdomen. But all she is is basically an egg-laying machine huh. all day long. So what if you lose, like you've lost your queen? What do you do? Uh, then you have to raise new queens. Congratulations, Mr. B. It's a queen. You can take eggs from uh, a good hive, and put them uh, in a certain situation that the bees will make queens out of the eggs, out of the oh. eggs that they, they uh, you have to ma manipulate the hive a certain way. The workers will raise a queen. If you one queen? One. Well, they'll, ra they'll raise several queens okay. and then they'll fight. If they have uh, three or four queens that they all hatch at the same time, they'll fight for the for survival. The name is Spock. If we don't battle to the death, they will kill us both. This isn't Star Trek! The best one wins, I guess, or the strongest one wins, I guess. Wow. That is so fascinating. Yeah. Was I the new queen bee? How long have you been a beekeeper? Uh, since I was 18. 
but I'm, <laughs> I'm 63 now, so whatever that is. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's a lot of beekeeping. Yeah, it's kind of addicting once you get at it. Kind of, I, I like just watching them fly, just doing their own thing. Eh? Thanks, Bob. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid and watch the next one. Love you, bye.